Welcome to Outlander Media Network. I'm Kirby Lee Bailey. We're at the Concourse in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm with the band Icon for Hire. Hi. This is Ariel. I'm Sean. And Sean Junk. <laughs> also, Sean Michael Junk. <laughs> That's right. We figured that out earlier. <laughs> How's the tour with Citizen Soldier going for you guys? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So yeah. good. Hope they have us back out in the fall. <laughs> oh yeah, this is our we're, second. Of yeah, we're a little season. naively grateful too. We're just always, always grateful to be playing music. Well, so y'all are doing a y'all are doing a song with them, collaboration with them. Yep. Right. Recently, and it's called Victim or Survivor. Yeah. And I get to come out on the stage and sing that with them every night. That's been really special, and their fans have been really great, really welcoming. We're playing to more people than we ever have, so we're like feeling very lucky and blessed. Yeah, Citizen Soldier has really taken off I here. Been, I know. <laughs> was, we've been, we're grateful to be part of their takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a hanging on their coattails. Right. As as we can. <laughs> I don't blame you. You can hang on. Just keep right. on hanging out. And they're out. all like really awesome people. They've been really sweet, welcoming, making us feel at home. So it's been a, it's been a really good fit. Yeah. So y'all live in Nashville now? Yep. What yep. part of Nashville y'all live in? East Nashville. Is that the Mount Julia area? Uh, no, no. It's more well, East Nashville's more in the city where all the hipsters and coffee shops are. Oh, where all the hipsters hang out. I mean, we just got completely settled in there. We were we had just sold our house here to, oh, really? to move into our other house in Nashville. Oh, I There's know. a lot of people in Mount Julia though, yeah. that I know. Personally. Oh yeah, a lot of producers, musicians live there too. Yeah, yeah we live close to there. We live in the uh, Hermitage area. So. Okay, yeah. That's fine. You guys came over here, over to the show from Hermitage. Yeah, we had just. Funny thing was. We have been in the process of moving all week, and we just got our final closing on our house here in Knoxville this past Monday, oh, and then this show was down this way, and I was like, it's like, we moved all the way to Nashville and started doing more Nashville shows, yeah. but then, yeah, that's, that's awesome, and our first two shows were, since we got completely settled in, we did Glasgow last night with Living Dead Girl, and we came down here for you cool. guys. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, we were at AJ's place in Glasgow last night. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, so and this is possibly going to be one of the last major acts to play in this field. We heard. We heard. It's, it's so sold out. It's sold out tonight. I could. I couldn't believe it was going to be the last one. We've done a lot of interviews in this in this venue. Come up here. This is the first time I've done it indoor. Well, second time. I did one upstairs, did one downstairs, and the rest have been right there in that little porch area. Oh, cool. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. One band, Gemini Syndrome, was one of them. Yeah. And they liked it because they could smoke while we were doing the interview. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do y'all got planned for us tonight, pretty much? Uh, we have a 40-minute uh, set that's almost like a cardio workout for 40 minutes. Uh, all high tempo fast songs. <laughs> we, punch in the face. we slow it down for just one ballad, piano ballad, uh, that everybody seems to be very receptive to. Yep. Uh, it's off our first record, The Gray. Uh, we do some covers, just like in and out really quick, a lot of head banging. Uh, it's like pretty yeah, intense and high energy the whole time. We save up all of our energy all day long and then we just like burst onto the stage. So like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like one of the songs, I was checking out one of the videos, Make a Move. Yeah. yeah. So what's the deal with everybody wearing the mask? You know, what's you know, I see people wearing masks like you know back during COVID. Yeah. So were y'all trying to like? So we were spray painting in that video. So we were just wearing it as for aesthetics that we were spray painting. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was because of COVID or something. No, no. <laughs> well, see, Make a Move's 2011. Yeah. Oh, that's that song. That song's OG. <laughs> yeah, no. That was well, hell, y'all might have been. Prophesize in the future. We can go. I'm so glad that shit's over. <laughs> that makes a bunch of us. Yeah. I mean, uh, me and my partner over there, we're medical people. Yeah. We're not doing this. So. Oh, cool. And right now is my first time. At a, I'm at a new facility, obviously, because I've switched to the cities. Yeah. And they're the only facility right now wearing masks. Yeah. And I couldn't believe it. I said, Are you freaking kidding me? I haven't worn a mask in. Right. Three years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe four years. Yeah. Well, I never wore a mask anyway. I was kind of lazy about it. Yeah. Because I never had COVID. I think that was another issue. Oh, wow. I never had it. I, don't, I think I can't. That's something I can catch it. Well, good. good. for you. I had a new system. Yeah. <laughs> did y'all ever have it? Or? I did get it. She did too. Uh, it was like two years after it started. 
that yeah. we made it. We made it and made it and made it and then everything opened back up kind of and then we got it. And we got stuck in Europe during COVID. So, well, almost stuck. We had to our tour got canceled. Tour. Yeah, we just cut it short. We were in Europe. Uh, and that was tried to be cancel like our Italy shows that we were really looking forward to. Um, we got home right as the border was closing. So as our plane landed, we get notifications that the U.S. border was closing. So we, we were like, just in, but it's gonna Yeah. I mean, that was just so surreal. I mean, you can't, you know, thank God y'all y'all were in Tennessee then, weren't you? Yeah. And our rules were a little more lax than some of the other states. Yeah. Oh, and that yeah. was the only thing I was, you know, yeah. kind of thankful for. Like, this area down here was not even bad at all on their rules. Nashville was a little more yeah. harder than Knoxville. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you... It's kind of weird you see people walking around with masks all the time. Yeah. It was just like, you know, we you know but Traveling as much as we do, I mean, through the years, it's not uncommon to see masks on people at the airport, uh, especially uh, in Europe. Yeah, There's our number one priority is trying not to get sick on tour. So yeah. we're grateful. If someone is sick or they want to wear masks, we need to we're like all for it. Yes. They're, they're being respectful of us and the fact that we're shaking so many hands every day. Yeah. You know, we'd rather err on the side of caution. <laughs> So when y'all flew out of Italy, where y'all what, what, what flight were y'all on? No, y'all? so we were we had a uh, three week tour over in Europe planned, and we got to Russia and started the tour there, and then made our way back through Europe, and then we got to we were Ger- in Germany. We didn't we make were in, it. To Italy we were in Germany. Germany, and the rest of the tour got canceled. So we flew to Europe, no COVID. Two weeks later, COVID we were here. emergency evacuation out of the country because of COVID was shutting the world down. So. But uh, no, it, it's all good. We came back and we used all that pent up energy. And we made two records. Yep. Uh, and we're touring on those records now still. Uh, <laughs> but the fun thing about it is uh, when we leave here, this tour is over in a week. Uh, we're going right into the studio and uh, doing another record. So yeah. we're really excited about new music. Yeah. We're really excited about that. We're working on it on the bus every day. Yeah, we got the studio. We got the studio seven, set up in the, in the bandwagon. We're pumped. Like, <laughs> yeah, the new stuff is flowing. It'll be really high. Going energy. back to roots. Okay. Yeah. We keep saying that. We say that every album. No, I'm just seriously listening to Significant Other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like West Borland. Okay. <laughs> How about West Borland, Tennessee? <laughs> no, from the biscuit. West Borland, he, he's, a, he's a national native. Oh, that's cool. Yep. See, um, well, actually, this is going to be my second time actually seeing y'all. I've seen y'all once. Oh, no way. Yeah, it was at a festival. Actually, it was uh, Blue Ridge Number Five. Hell yeah! That was oh, a fun okay, show. that was a it was an interesting day, but it was yeah. a fun show. You, you were the know. first ones out the gate, I believe. I know. Sure I were. First yeah. ones out of the mud behind the behind. It was so muddy. We were just like lucky to play. <laughs> so many people get canceled when it rains at festivals. They come all that way. And they ours did. So we were grateful. Yeah, we were happy we got to play. Well, like I said, big thankful you were at that Blue Ridge and not the next one. We heard. We yeah. were at that one too. We heard. Oh wow. We heard. <laughs> We, we found out firsthand what hell, and when I talk about hell, people say, talk about how hot it was? I said, no, there hell. was a hell storm that just de- developed out there. We yep. were trapped for like four and a half hours trying to get to our vehicles. You're good. You cut through. Bring it out, roads. But yeah, it was, that was an interesting day that day. But I, like I said, I remember y'all because y'all were the first ones out the gate that day. It was, y'all were pumping up the lunch crowd for yeah, us. That's right. That's right. It's fun. So after this tour is over, who, y'all have any tour plans afterwards? Yeah, so we'll head back out uh, September 28th with Citizen Soldier and us, and we're going out west. So we'll have scenes on that. Yep, yeah. we'll have 17 shows uh, from September. We'll be home like October 20th, so another month. Yeah, we wanted to do about maybe 70 shows this year, and we'll be right around 60, I think. Yeah, unless we get the POD tour in November. <laughs> What? You guys will say that one. <laughs> you can cut it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll do more. We submitted for that tour and hopefully we get that and then we'll do more shows. Then. Right, there awesome. you go. Yeah. Maybe release a new single around it and play it. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. they just had a new single recently uh, yeah. with, uh, I think it was Ginger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. it is. Yeah. 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 We, uh, we watched their, uh, we played So What Fest down in uh, Dallas, Texas. Or Forward there and I watched the PFD set and they okay. still just bring it. So y'all have been in uh, Nashville. Out of all the venues there, what's one of your what's your favorite one to play in Nashville? Uh, uh, sorry. Exit yeah, I think Exit In. Yeah. Uh, but one day I'd like to play uh, Brooklyn Bowl. We have played that, and that's a really nice venue. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've done Marathon. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, we love the basement East. Come on. 
Yeah, it's like, who doesn't like the basement? Yeah, that's like a classic. Yeah, we always feel welcome there. It's like a home venue for us, I feel like. Yeah, for sure. I love the basement. I think I'm on, my favorite is, I think because it's Marathon Works. Yeah. And I think because I like the, they got the best hot dogs on the planet with Daddy Dogs there. Well, <laughs> I don't yeah. know if y'all, cool. have y'all ever had Daddy Dogs? We know Sean, we know the owner. Yeah. Uh, Sean, uh, we got to know Sean on Warp Tour. He's the owner. Uh, and then uh, sometimes we get free hot dogs. Sometimes we get free hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love <the> dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best hot dog I've ever had. I, right? I took my camera person out there for her birthday. We were there. Daddy Dogs. For Daddy yeah. Dogs. Cool. And then, People said that was kind of cheap. I said, man, that's a nice hot dog, right? That's the best hot dog on the planet. Yeah, he's got one going up in Madison now, and then they got one uh, out in uh, German, German, Minton. Yeah. Uh, the Nations, the Nations. Uh, I think they've got some portable ones that go down in Midtown by Winners and Losers. So, yeah. yeah, he's growing for sure. Yeah. And the basement is a fun venue, also. We, I can't tell you how many times I've been at that venue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My favorite venue of all time, it's no longer there. It was There was a venue way back when called 328 Performance Hall. Okay. And it was a long time. It was back in the late 90s, and they uh, they actually yeah, tore it down eventually. But it was a great venue. It was one of the most fun venues I ever went to. Oh, cool. In Nashville? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That was before our time, I think. Yeah. And I've done, let's see, we've done, like, the Wild Horse. Mm -hmm. I don't like the Wild Horse. Broadway. The parking. Broadway. The parking. It yeah. gets expensive to go see people at the Wild Horse. I okay. paid more for the parking. parking than I did the tickets. Oh, so wow. it's like, I saw Bear to the Wild Horse, and it was like $32 a ticket, and I paid like $38 to park that night. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I've, of all the places to park, Nashville is probably one of the highest areas we go to for parking wise. <laughs> if I remember carefully, she always gets on to me about saying something about the park, but that's the highest ones I've ever been. And they we go to Atlanta a lot for a lot of shows, and it never. Just sitting there waving your cane. Nowhere as high as Nashville. <laughs> but, it, but like I say, I hope y'all get that tour coming up. We like to see y'all in Nashville. I've never seen y'all in Nashville. It just, it depends on what my day's off for, and I have to yeah. do this. And, and depend on, and there's so many shows to pick from also. Yeah. That's another issue. And it's fun, Nashville's it's fun to live there. Yeah. We always have something to do. We always have friends to see. Always. Play, playing different shows. Yeah. It's nice. Like we always get hit. Like it, it seems like the two months that we get hit with the most shows is May and September. Like mm -hmm. May we did. How many concerts we did in May? And we didn't do interviews at all of them. But we did. I think it was 13 concerts in May. Wow. Every time I looked up, we were at a show. Yeah. Like a tour. Sounds like a tour. In it's September, crazy. I think we've got right now. A, Six or seven already scheduled for September. I don't know why it's hitting like that. Wow. And I'd, I'd love to see y'all at the Brooklyn Bowl. That is a great right? venue. It is. A, that be yeah, we play Nashville probably once or twice a year. Yep. Usually exit in, sometimes the end, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a little. I, did, I just found out about the end not too long ago. I didn't know that one existed. And we were up there for uh, TX2 and the Funeral Portrait. Funeral Portrait, yeah, we just toured with them. They're awesome. Yeah. I'm kind of happy for the them because they were our very first interview. Wow. And now they're getting ready to be on tour with uh, Five Finger Death. Five Finger Death. Yeah. yeah. We're killing it. All right, well, guys, we appreciate y'all taking time. And yeah, thank you. Can't wait to see your show tonight and let us know when you got new music out. We promote, promote, promote. Thank you. And you can follow Icon for Hire on Spotify, Facebook, all of it. Instagram. All, Instagram. Patreon. All social platforms. They're wonderful people. They put on a good show. Catch them out tonight at the Knoxville Concourse. And we're out of here.